Hey, we're back on Anthem because want to know why? It's a shit game and shit games that cost $60 had six years of development, choked the life out of other titles by sucking up the resources and then lied flat out in most of their marketing material. They deserve to be called shit games because they are shit and there is no actual legitimate defense for Anthem. The honeymoon stage is finally over, thank god, because the true diehard fans of this wretched game are quite possibly the most unbearable group of people I think I have ever seen, and I played Division 1 during the patch 1.3 days, so I've seen some shit. Since a large chunk of the once blinded fans have now woken up and seen the setting sun, if you will, the perception of the game has moved from bad to worse to now, quite literally, boycott. Fans of the game have organized across Reddit to enact a one week long protest phase where they drop the game and try to force Bioware to make some improvements to the loot generosity system which up till now has not only been broken but also glossed over and pretty much ignored. It's hard to be this tone deaf, it really is, but Bioware takes the cake this week and well I guess this year in total for the most unironically dense decisions in the entire games industry. It really came to a head over this past weekend. Players have been begging for a generosity update in order to fix the loot rewards. They have been crying out in greater and greater numbers for a fix to the diminishing returns curve that plagues the game and essentially renders two of the game's three endgame difficulties as entirely worthless. And it seemed, for a brief moment, like all was right in the world and Bioware had listened. Nope. Just kidding. A few days ago, players had a pleasant surprise. They were now getting more loot and of a better quality than ever before, and it felt good. Really good. Players were unsure, though, whether or not this was truly intentional, because every time something goes wrong, Bioware just screams, Oh, it's a bog! It's gonna get fixed! So there is a sort of uncertain atmosphere within the game now when it comes to what is intentional and what isn't. Because of this uncertainty, players took to Reddit and various forums to beg them not to revert the changes if they were, in fact, unintentional. There was a mass outcry from happy players not to undo the loot change because it felt good and was finally allowing them the core progression that they crave when playing a loot-based RPG, which Anthem is after all, which up till now has been, to put it diplomatically, unnecessarily stingy. What does Bioware do? Well, in true Anthem fashion, they ignore the outcry from their still loyal player base and revert the loot generosity changes. Sorry, loot generosity bug. This was pretty much breaking point for a large section of the players still loyal to this half-cooked roadkill of a product. This also came in parallel to an announcement made by Bioware that in the next few months, they would be making changes to the loot system but are starting slow. And this really was the final straw. Because this embarrassment of a game does not have a few months left. It doesn't even really have a few weeks. They are on a clock that is measured in days if they want to try and salvage something from a product that is now measured on par with the likes of Fallout 76 and No Man's Sky. They need to shape the fuck up. The response has been a now heavily upvoted Reddit thread which outright calls for a boycott to take place in which players refrain from playing to get Bioware's attention and force them to fix the drop rates. This initial small outcry has now been echoed far and wide. Pretty much all of the mainstream gaming publications have covered it. Most of the YouTubers I personally know of and follow that have any interest in the game at all or covered it in the past have touched on the subject and all of this just organizes the concept further since it has now reached hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of eyes. The Anthem player base has already taken a nosedive, that much is fairly certain, but we don't have the actual analytics to dissect at this time. A legitimate boycott gaining traction might actually be enough to light a fire under their ass and get some changes implemented, but when you really think about it, that possibility is not very likely. Bioware legitimately chose, in the face of mass outcry and pleading fans, to deliberately undo a change that had been widely requested and then positively received, whether or not it was a bug, as they claim. And for what reason? Anthem has some of the most broken and lazy endgame content I have ever had the displeasure of playing through. And when a bug, or so they say, results in the drop rate of desirable items rising to a point of player euphoria, a pleasant feeling overall, they seize upon their moment to undo it. Rile up what little support they have left and spit in the face of what the players have been begging for. The examples of rampant inadequacy within Anthem run deep. I could make a video every single day, each with unique material on its failings. People send me stuff all the time, which comes with the territory of, you know, uniquely shitting all over a game constantly for multiple videos. But like this, for example. This is a recent clip sent over that shows placeholder images because they don't even have the artwork done for certain assets, and this is also not something that's isolated. This isn't a one-time thing. There are layers and layers of design flaws, broken mechanics, missing material, and problems with continuity, but some players have forgiven all of this, 
all of these issues, only to now have what they felt to be the best and most satisfying change yet be ripped away from them because Bioware is so goddamn tone deaf. Switching gears, let's discuss transparency, because one of the last bastions of defense I still hear shouted out at critics is Bioware is transparent, they are open and honest, and interact with the player base. First off, yes, they are active, especially on Reddit, which means they 100% saw the outcry to keep the loot system, and then were like, no, screw you, we're not going to do it. But anyways, more importantly, lead producer Ben Irving had this to say regarding the topic of transparency when replying to a thread that asked about cut content and underdelivered promises in the marketing trailers. The short answer is that the cost of transparency is things change. We did our best to be transparent on the journey to going live, but with that, we knew things would be different in some situations. Sometimes people would be happy and sometimes they would be upset. It's the cost of transparency. Edit. To elaborate, game development is full of change. There are a million reasons why you set out with an idea and it evolves over time. This is common in every game. We shared as much as we could. Some things change. So the cost of transparency is that some things we said become not true. Not because someone was dishonest, but because it changed over the course of development. Basically, he said, we told you what we thought might be true someday, but was not true, and then released a game that didn't live up to the expectations we ourselves created. And we only said these untrue things because we are transparent. And the cost of us being transparent is dishonesty. That's a pretty big what the fuck moment, isn't it? The idea that showing completely fictional gameplay that doesn't exist and then selling a product that does not meet those expectations is somehow transparent. The cost of being honest is that the honest things that you say can become not honest. How about don't show shit that isn't real? How about don't sell a trailer of lies and then deliver something else? Maybe you just show a trailer that accurately depicts what you have physically created already instead of making it all up. People are increasingly curious why I am this venomous towards Anthem, and I want to answer that honestly. The reason is because Anthem is an affront to gaming. This bloated abomination has been developed with a direct link to the detriment of other revered titles. The game is not only unfinished, it is unworthy of its current price tag, unworthy of its subsequent further monetization, and was puffed up for years pre-release by lies, which I guess is now another way of saying transparency, and other falsified material that served to agitate the gullible player base into a frenzy of self-detrimental buyer's hype. Anthem needs to be put down like a rabid animal because this trend of unfinished, and when I say unfinished, I mean like completely unfinished. It's like if you put a whole turkey in the oven at 200 degrees for five minutes and then pulled it out like, ta-da, happy Thanksgiving. Mmm, so juicy. Anthem has to be put down because a message needs to be hammered home in the thick skulls of these decision makers that you can't just create some broken mess and then sell it for full price, then monetize it further and take months to fix what should have been functional on launch day. The boycott will take place from right now, as I upload this, actually a few hours ago, until the end of the week. I would urge any players out there still holding tightly to the hope that the game can improve in any realistic time frame, support the protest. Put down the game for a few days and make your point, because there is little else that can be done if you don't want to spend the next few months stuck in a hellish limbo of inadequate loot and broken mechanics. At least if they revert this bug, as they claim, it will allow for an influx of the desirable gear, which could help offset the other issues that the game has, of which there are more than plenty. If the protest does not work, it will just be further evidence that the game has no future. At this point, the idea of a 10-year plan is comedy. It deserves a Netflix special. I'll go that far. It's gold. The diluted concept that EA and Bioware are not neck deep in proceedings to determine whether or not to abandon the project is something to be marveled at. And even if they come to the conclusion that the game is worth keeping around, despite having lackluster numbers, even when compared to Mass Effect Andromeda, which got the clean decapitation pretty quickly after release, the team maintained will be bare bones at best, and a game this broken needs all hands on deck to keep pace with the timeline of changes that are necessary to win back any sort of consumer good faith. But yeah, that's it. At this point, yes, I do hate Anthem passionately, because it is a symbol of almost everything I see to be detrimental within the whole industry. Broken design, misleading promises, lack of receptivity to player preference, extra monetization on top of an initial price tag, and dysfunctional technical polish so horrible it can crash an entire console. The game deserves to be recalled. It probably won't be, but in my eyes, that's what it definitely deserves. 
yeah, that's it though. If you want to support, check out the links down below. If you are super angry about how mean I was to Anthem, there's a crisp little unsubscribe button right down below the corner of the video. But enough is enough. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for bearing with me there. This was definitely a rant, more so than most of the other videos. But yeah, that's it. Have a nice night, everybody.